All right. It's just me today. Um, today's workout. It's going to be uh, five rounds for time of 20 push-ups and 20 kettlebell swings. Just those two movements, super simple. Um, it's uh, going to be a, a good way to try and get 100 push-ups in. Uh, my push-up game is definitely not as good as it used to be. So this is a perfect kind of workout to try and uh, kind of get back into that. Um, you can attack the kettlebell swing a few different ways. You can keep it light and happy, try and keep uh, try and keep uh, the pace up. Uh, or you can go heavy and, and turn this into a, a good kettlebell swing workout too. A hundred, a hundred heavy kettlebell swings. Um, there's nothing, nothing to scoff at. Kettlebell swings are fantastic. I'm probably going to go light today um, <clears throat> just because uh, that's what I want to do. But of course, before that, I have to warm up. So I'm going to do my normal warm-up, starting with my stick. <clears throat> I'm just going to do my, one of my favorite shoulder warm-up, uh, getting a nice snatch grip, pulling this up, rotating, and pressing. Ooh, already got a little crack there, actually. Didn't know if you could hear that. I'm going back and forth. This past Saturday, we went to the track and did um, traveling burpees uh, around, well, not, oh, we didn't make it all the way around the track. We had 300 meters. It's very slow going, but that was enough on a nice, hot, sunny day. This Saturday, we're doing a, another track workout, so we're going to meet in the same place, so only on a high school. And uh, this time we're just going to do a, a sprint and walk workout. Oh, we're going to uh, sprint a 400 meters, walk 400 meters, sprint 300 meters, walk 300 meters, sprint 200, walk 200, sprint 100, walk 100. So pretty intense uh, sprint workout. Stretch out that squat. Oh. Everything's still a little sore from last week and all those burpees. So they're spending some time down here. It's all good. I grab hold of an ankle, and then the other side's gonna come down oh, and up. Feeling pretty stiff. So we're gonna see how this workout treats me today. I'm going to do a, uh, an old, uh, old posterior chain and back warm up. I used to do, uh, took this from one of my dancing classes in college. I took three dancing classes in college. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of do a good morning. I'm just going to bend over. And then once we can't really bend over this way back anymore, we tuck our chin all the way down and roll all the way up. Just repeat. I've never been flexible in this direction, but the most flexible way in this direction ever was was in one of those dance classes where we would do like warm ups like this for like a half hour, 45 minutes at a time. And doing that, 
got me super sweaty, super warmed up. Um, very pretty flexible construction. Kettlebell swing workout, uh, warm up. I'm just gonna take my hands and just try to like reach my heels. And I'm gonna come up. Uh, this uh, repeat. Yeah, very rickety, very tight today. I'm trying to emphasize taking some deep breaths. working everything to a big range of motion. The uh, limiting factor for this workout is it's going to be push-ups. Like I said, my push-up game isn't as good as it used to be. So doing 20 push-ups at a time, repeatedly, uh, well, I probably would have been able to knock this out pretty quick and easy before it's going to be a challenge today. Thank <sighs> just do a few slow jumps. Let me use this opportunity to talk about uh, hand placement for push-ups and how, why you would kind of do different types of push-ups. What I mean by hand placement is, um, <clears throat> for example, a kind of, I'm going to call it a neutral kind of width where it's right underneath your shoulders. And then when you do your push-up, your arms got to stay very close to your sides. And see, it's I'm almost scraping my side with my arms as I come back up. Uh, some people call these yoga push-ups. Some people call them tricep push-ups. Um, <clears throat> it's the first type of push-up that I teach because it's really just kind of very uh, nice or neutral for your shoulder. So with your arms that close, um, and you have your arms scrape your sides like so, it's going to put more of the load, like right here in your tricep. This tricep, having to pull everything straight, it's going to be, that's why people call it a tricep push-up, because it leans more towards the tricep. Um, not, there's going to be some crossover, but not that much there in the back. Okay? And then on the other extreme side would be, instead of having it, say, a, like a neutral, a neutral grip like that, the wider you go, the less tricep you're gonna use and the more pec you're gonna use. Basically the pec is gonna pull, it's gonna pull everything this way to get that same kind of motion. So a wider grip is gonna use more pec. However, we kind of shy away from this um, because having the arm go out like so, there's not a lot of rotation going on in the shoulder, whereas here, the, your arm's just rotating in your shoulder socket. Whereas if you go here, it's kind of an awkward movement. And if you do like a ton of them, eh, there can be some weird things that kind of happen at the shoulder. If you do them uh, low rep, then it's fine. 
Um, but I wouldn't do most of your push-ups with a wide uh, hand position like so. Um, when I'm doing a ton of push-ups, or if I'm doing like a, like a weighted push-up, you know, just put something heavy on your back or some, or have a friend just sit on you when you do push-ups. Um, I tend to default to kind of between those two extremes. So I normally, like if I'm, if I'm gonna do like the heaviest push-up that I can, my arms aren't normally literally scraping my sides, but they're also not out here either. They're kind of midway. Like I tend to have, it's closer to my side than it is out here but I have a little bit of movement there. And that actually brings it closer to how I'm going to bench as a weightlifter. Um, if you're gonna use the bench as a weightlifter as an Olympic weightlifting, generally a narrower grip is gonna be better for your shoulders, uh, carry over to other lifts. Um, so a narrower bench, just like this push up here, is gonna be better. So, uh, today, <coughs> when I do, uh, my five sets of 20 push-ups, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be not quite all the way in. I'm gonna be just a little bit out, get a little bit of both, a little bit of tricep, a little bit of pack. Um, so I'm gonna do my push-ups. It's gonna look more like that. And if I were to show you from this angle without kicking anything, I'm gonna be doing my push-ups like there. So it's gonna be more here rather than here and rather than there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be 20, doing 20 push-ups that time. The trick to doing workouts like this where there's, you know, 100 push-ups, I'm just going to say is a lot of push-ups. Uh, for me right now, that's going to be a lot of push-ups. So the trick to this is for as long as possible, don't go to failure. Okay, so if, let's, just, let's just throw out a number. Let's say uh, 19 is gonna be maximum effort push-ups. You couldn't possibly do another one. 19 is your max. Don't do 19 then. Stop around 16, you know? Then take a very short break and then get back into it. If you go to failure, it's gonna take you longer to get back into it than if you stop a couple reps short and then go right into it. Uh, inevitably, what's probably gonna happen for me in this workout is I'm gonna end up doing um, probably two or three at a time, put a knee down for a second, two or three, put a knee down, two or three, put a knee down. Strategy, manage your rest, don't take too much rest. Um, and then kettlebell swings, we're gonna be doing kettlebell swings all the time. Um, literally all the time. Uh, I'm using a 20 kilo, I'm just gonna be doing our normal Russian swing. I have my pillow over here for that. Okay. Uh, so again, pretty simple workout. We're gonna do 20 push-ups and 20 kettlebell swings for five rounds. Uh, if you wanna make this easier, you can, um, of course, scale the reps. You can do um, 10 push-ups and then 20 kettlebell swings. I keep the kettlebell swings. 100 kettlebell swings is an amazing one. Um, or you can split up even more. You can do 10 and 10 and do 10 rounds. Um, you can scale the push-up by doing the push-up on a box or a stable uh, elevated surface like a, a couch or a chair or something. Mm. You could do knee push-ups, although I don't like those very much. Um, if you've ever seen them before, knee push-ups are doing push-ups where your knees are on the floor. Uh, I don't like that because um, your posterior chain, your hamstrings and your glutes uh, turn into jelly. Uh, your hips tend to bend. It turns out not to be a very good uh, planking position. It's just a mess. So I'd rather you elevate it than do knee push-ups, but push ups are going to be better than nothing as well. Uh, yes. <sighs> I'm procrastinating now. Here we go. So 20 push ups, and I am weak as a baby. Um, <clears throat> 20 push ups, 20 elbow swings, five rounds. Starting in three, two, one, go.
There's 20 push ups, 20 swings. Oh, one round done. First one's never so bad, right? Stop the forward smack, supper. Three rounds done. Push ups are getting hard now.
four hands down, just one to go. Last set of 20 push ups. Fight my way through it. <sighs> Nine. Fifteen. Eighteen, two more. Twenty swings, and we're done. There we have it. Good way to get 100 push ups, 100 swings. Push ups are definitely a lot worse than they used to be. Now, as far as mobility to do, um, well, this isn't technically mobility. One of my favorite things to do uh, after I do something with a ton of push ups is the push ups are very kind of uh, hunchy. You know, you, you have press, uh, your chest shortens, your, your back opens up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of uh, do kind of a short finisher with the opposite of that. If you're in the gym doing any kind of rows, um, <clears throat> it's a good way to do it. You can take a kettlebell, uh, like the one I got here, and you can put your palms away from your body, grab hold, and do like a bent over row like so. I have one of these nice stretchy bands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, open up my arms like this, and looking from the back, I'm just going to try and retract my shoulder blades together and uh, control the, the reverse motion as well. So I'm not just pulling, I'm controlling the reverse. Pull, control, pull, control, pull, and control. Just like it kind of the opposite direction of the push-ups. I was distracted talking, so I don't know how many that was. I'm just going to take a short breath. I'm going to do about eight more. Pull, control, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And again, you can do the same kind of motion by just picking something up and doing a bent over row with it as well. Um, what's nice about the stretchy band is uh, being able to do it with a 
wide straight arm position. And that really uses, that really focuses on the scapula, the shoulder blades just pulling together. Whereas with the bent over row, it's going to be a different position here, a little bit more biceps. You're not going to get as much retraction in the shoulder blades. So I'm just going to do one more survey. So fast, slow, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And even with this tiny little stretchy band, like this is one of the smallest ones you can get. Uh, even with a tiny one like this, it isn't very hard to do one or two. Uh, doing that fast with slow control uh, tempo uh, it gets a really good burn. <laughs> and then this is kind of like a little little stretch. I like to do kind of an overhead squat with the stretchy band as well. That way I actively pull the, the band apart. <clears throat> and just get a nice, good overhead squat going. Really focusing on pulling the shoulder blades together. You can do this with a stick, of course. Oh, awesome. That felt pretty good. Um, I'm really excited for this week's programming as a whole. Uh, most every day, not kind of today, most every day has some kind of mobility component to it as well. Should be a lot of fun. And again, on Saturday, we're going to meet at the track again on the track. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.